Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is David and today we are talking about LCX and the title of the video is, is LCX part of the new world order? I do want to say at the start of this video, by no means am I pro world economic forum. I actually like these projects when it comes to LCX, Hedera, uh, XRP when it comes to Ripple, but they seem to somehow always be involved with um, you know, World Economic Forum, all these, you know, very high centralized entities. That's what I'm talking about, betting on that infrastructure going forward when it comes to the Great Reset. And then by no means is this a conspiracy theory. You know, Klaus Schwab is saying you will own nothing and, you know, be happy. There's quite a lot of connotations to that sentence, but in itself is pretty scary. Having articles like this saying, what's the future of the world order? It is coming. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's Video so relation to World Economic Forum and LCX, then talking about tokenized securities, the market that can have for LCX and just tokenization in general. Then having a little sneak peek into the roadmap for LCX going forward into 2023. A lot of value. Stick around to the end. Leave a like down below. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, so firstly, I have a paragraph that I want to read that pretty much answers the question in the title of the video. But here we have it. So, what is the world? Economic Forum. Well, it is the International Organization for Public Private Cooperation. The forum engages the foremost political, business, cultural, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and industry agendas. LCX joined the World Economic Forum's Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution as a member. Furthermore, in 2019, LC's management team engaged in several Closed door World Economic Forum workshops on central banks in the age of blockchain technology. Closed door. Example held at Singapore and OECD headquarters in Paris and attendance of senior executives of more than 20 central banks. The goal of this work was to co design frameworks for new blockchain and DLT use cases that may address challenges such as international interbank settlements, digital currency regulation central bank, uh, digital currency, CBDCs for domestic citizens and KYC as well as anti-money laundering implications. And these are closed door events that we are actually being made aware of. How many more is LCX actually involved in our closed, closed door events? And not to mention the connections that the team already has individually with the World Economic Forum. Obviously the CEO and founder, uh, Monty, member of the World Economic Forum since 2019. If you look at the team also, you can see Don Tapscott, a thought leader, has stated that LCX is one of the most important companies in the space and in the world who is a senior advisor at the World Economic Forum. I was actually going to include his book in the Discord, uh, but I settled on blockchain bubble or revolution. There's two pieces more information I want to just solidify what's happening with LCX and the World Economic Forum. This is back in 2015, remember, what is the future of the world order we can see? In fact, a new world order is almost certain to emerge and very soon. And this is back in 2015. So maybe they're aiming for the 2030 Great Reset, but obviously in the scheme of things there, you know, how long the World Economic Forum has actually been around, that isn't, that is pretty soon. So the shape what it takes will be turned by two key phenomena, globalization and digitization. And LCX will be there to witness the agenda as stated here. So LCX will closely work on how both old and new app does revolutionize the future of the finance industry. It will witness the agenda of near-term growth and external shocks, the growing role of derivative markets and cross-border financial regulation. With all that information, I want to come to a conclusion with the World Economic Forum, with LCX, in my opinion, on the whole situation, which is kind of, it contradicts you know, these two statements a little bit, but number one is betting on the infrastructure. I do believe that the World Economic Forum will have their way, you know, realistically, it's global elites imposing their worldview, pulling the strings behind the curtains, and to think that they will not have their way, I don't know what other way it would uh, be. And um, when it comes to investing projects that are involved with centralized entities, you have to realize for money to flow in, for mass adoption to occur with these assets, what sort of money that is that is flowing in. And it's all about betting on the infrastructure that's going to be involved with the Great Reset and the Financial Reset. Number two, you will own nothing and be happy. Now, if you heard that statement from, you didn't know who actually said it, you don't know who, where that person was actually, uh, what organization they were from, it essentially means that you can actually be happy without uh, material possessions, but obviously it is quite 
you know, confrontational, aggressive. You know, you will own nothing and be happy. But realizing who has said it and what organization he is from, it obviously has different meaning. And could this mean in the future that the regulations will be pushed down so hard that you will actually be regulated out of your holdings and it will only be accessible to the mega wealthy and the mega elites and the, you know, the mega rich and the majority will own nothing and be happy. And you're seeing this consensus happen with people saying the time to get rich is running out. Now, is that to induce fear into the average person so that people buy their course on the back end because they're like, oh my God, I'm, I need to get rich because they're selling a product in the back end? Or is it because that statement is actually true? And they hate population. They want depopulation. That's their whole sort of agenda along with, you know, climate change and other things involved. Um, but... You know, when I think about it, I think about the matrix, you know, a few people being unplugged, but the majority are asleep. Like a few people getting rich off these digital assets that have utility involved with the new financial system going forward. Utility-based cryptocurrencies, a few people getting rich in the process isn't that much of a problem. But this all being said, the world cannot form this, everything going on, if you look at FTX, for example, um, you know, the world I can form are trying to uh, hide in their past highs of LCX. They were a partner of the World Economic Forum. Um, they were removed from the actual website and everything like that. And look what happened to FTX. So this could all be involved and all thrown to the side. But I think it's very interesting nonetheless. Now, I want to talk about the actual partnerships involved with Quant and Hedera Hashgraph, two big cryptocurrencies on the channel. That's a big reason why I'm invested in LCX when it comes to the differentiation between FTX, you know, the highly esteemed partnerships, the re a regulated exchange before regulations are here. A blockchain bank becoming a blockchain bank before it is one we are early with LCX. Now, with Quant Partnership, we can see the implementation and settlement of CBDCs, banking stablecoins, and digital asset securities. And with Hedera, we can see to establish a new standard for security tokens and tokenized digital assets. And this pushes me more towards an article here, what it takes to tokenize the world. Within this article, we can see tokenized property, tokenized energy, and tokenized securities and treasuries and more. LCX is focusing on digitalization of securities and derivatives, tokenizing securities. Now, this is where the true value lies, unlocking that value of non-fungible and illiquid assets as everything will be tokenized. We can see here, going into the trillions in coming years. Tokenized securities, tokenization outweighing, you know, LCX's market cap of 28 million and fully diluted of 35 million, currently right now tokenizing the asset class diamonds as diamonds. And the tokenization of diamonds is just a start, you know, approaching rare metals, gold, luxury goods, and so on. Currently, the actual count is temporarily restricted. I don't know why, that's a bit sus. I will need to look further into that to have an opinion on the whole situation. And lastly, we are approaching the end of the video. What are we looking forward for for Q1 2023? Here we can see stop limit order will be integrated on LCX exchange. Polygon Network LCX will launch staking as a service. Crypto, Cardano, ETH and Lightning Network support BTC will be integrated. That is pretty much it for today's video. You know, aside from the world I can inform, aside from the new world order going forward with LCX, being a regular exchange, regulations approaching, possibly these unregulated exchanges getting shut down, forcing users to migrate to these regulated exchanges could be a good possibility for LCX and everything involved with this project beyond that. I can see climate my portfolio in time to come, maybe in top five if things keep going the way they are planned. Very underrated, very undervalued. Do you think LCX is part of the new world order? Let me know down below. But it makes for a video. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one.